you just I just like doing everything. Yeah, and it kind of just keeps me on my toes and like keeps my ideas like super fresh when it's like not locked in. One of the early things I worked on like as an intern there was like a, it was like a collection for like Dana Boots or something. And thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> Howdy y'all, welcome to Senior Story Time. We're your hosts, Matson, Case, and Elliot, and we're the co-founders of Senior Company. No, we were just talking about, I was looking back at old Instagram messages, yeah. and you shot us a message in 2015, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, I know, it's, it's, so it's funny to like see that when it, I can hear myself. That's yeah, crazy. right? <laughs> I know. I trip you guys out. And I always think like this, though. I feel like, like, this, like a captain, like yeah. a captain of an airplane or something. Yeah, it's wild. Can you do like a pilot thing? Yeah, um, this is your captain speaking. Um, we got about a 15 minute layover, so if you could just put your crackers back in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> what flights are you going? I know, uh, yeah. bro. That's, yeah, it's that's pretty good, though. Yeah, that was pretty like good. Like a super muted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can always yeah. barely hear it. Sorry. That's all good. Okay, sorry. Back <laughs> uh, <All right. laughs> I think it was we're 2015. Oh fuck! I yeah, no. It. When you, I think it was like I heard about you guys when it was just like a smaller operation, and now walking in now, I'm like, yeah. There's like a cluster of people at oh, desks. Yeah. There's like people working on stuff. There's, I mean, it's changed. I'm fifteen so foot tall just... stack of like inventory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First, first reaction wise, when you walked in, like, what did you expect versus? What yeah. did you see? I have no idea. Yeah. Were, you, were yeah. you thinking like it was just gonna be like a small office with a couple people working, or were you thinking? No, I figured it'd be like crazy inventory like this, and I think too with like how much you guys pump out i'm like oh it has to be a pretty decent right. operation you know we're just spending we're just funny from when, like the here. first time ever like it's just crazy when you see like something and it's like infancy yeah of, like yeah. a couple t's mm -hmm. to like no it's like a full yeah like th like machine in, yeah like, a good yeah. way which we is did, like, yeah. super we cool. did that slow grind process you know where yeah. we started with like what a hat and then a couple t-shirts and so it is a trip it is a trip, and so for you, it's funny because like we we've been along the ride the whole time, you know, and so for you, it must be hilarious to see the zero to a thousand. You know? Yeah, which no, right but back, it's, right it's I mean, it's too. awesome. It's, it's it's awesome to see it like organically, and yeah, like, I think yeah. that's like what you want. You want like a steady exactly. Yeah, you don't want to like you know pop off and then like it fizzles out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Which is the exact same thing for you. Like, obviously, we've known about you since then too, because we talked then, mm -hmm. and I feel like you've like grown like crazy and been yeah. working with a bunch of really really cool companies and it seems like you're doing a lot these days yeah thank you yeah no it's been it's been pretty wild i think i i look back so i'm 30 now but i like look back to when i was like maybe like 18 or 19 yeah. like just figuring it out and like i kind of zoom ahead and go back and forth of like oh it's kind of crazy that i get to do this for a living yeah i'm sure for you guys too to yeah. be like wait we get to like do this yeah, and go yeah. Do cool stuff and like go on cool shit cool trips yeah do like collaborations and like i don't know it's just it like, is such a trip yeah yeah it's yeah sometimes great. you just get stuck with you know you put your head down and you're just grinding you know doing the work and then it's really good i feel like to like just poke your head up and just smile and just be like damn yeah it's insane usually for us the trips is a great opportunity like we we're just in hawaii on a shoot and the, you know we we're staying with our buddy finn's house shout out finn and it's beautiful house at the north shore you know and it's just so many moments like i can't believe we're I guess paying ourselves, but like getting paid to just chill the North Shore with our fucking boys, you know? Like see a hat on the beach and you're like, what? Yeah, yeah. Just tripping, having a thousand margaritas, you know? I'm sure <laughs> like even just like seeing your guys' own stuff outside on people you yeah, don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I'm sure that's a crazy feeling. Oh, yeah. Be like, this isn't like someone's cousin who's like, yeah, I, I guess I'll buy a hat from him because yeah. like I kind of know him and want to support. It's like, yeah. I have no idea who the three owners are, yeah. but I just like what this is. Oh yeah, we know? still, there's still some of our homies that'll go up to people wearing it and be like, who do you know there? And they're like, what? Yeah, by the shirt. Where'd you yeah, get that hat? Like, what the fuck? It, it <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think every single time that we see somebody still, we still point it out or yeah. like text each other like, see that guy oh, yeah. over there? Still cool. <laughs> it's still it's gonna probably cool be cool thing. forever, honestly, but. I remember one time I, I was uh, in Israel and I gave this like, uh, I don't know what you would, secret service kind of guy? I don't even know what the fuck he does, but uh, he kills people, I guess. But he looked at me and he was like, I want your shirt. And I was just wearing a secret t-shirt, like one of our early ones. And I was like, yeah, I'll get you one. He's like, no, I want that shirt. And I was like, the one I'm wearing right now? He's like, yeah, I want it. And so I just, hey, yeah, hey. it was all awkward. I was like, okay. <laughs> I just gave him my shirt and he gave me his and it was all smelly and shit. Respect. Yeah, respect. A jersey swap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hold it up, too. <laughs> Take a photo. It's pretty sick. I should have. 
and then he ended up getting wine all over it. And I was like, well, it's your shirt now. <laughs> ah, that's fun. But uh, but yeah, it is it is still really cool to see it. I thought it would kind of like be less cool the further we like less exciting when you see it as we get bigger, you know. But it's still fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I always thought about like, you know, Hurley, like Bob Hurley, or even the guys that like started Billabong, like what they must think. Oh yeah. Of like literally everyone wearing a billabong or hurley at this point after all of this and they're just like seeing it all like it's not even it's probably not even weird to them at all they're probably just like they talking to someone it. and someone's just wearing billabong or adidas someone's or whatever not wearing nike. it they're mad yeah no i don't yeah yeah, I don't put know. This on. yeah. like um yeah like nike like everyone wears nike and like what's his name night uh, shoe dog no. phil yeah phil knight phil knight ah like he probably just like walks around and he's like expects everyone to be every like single Nike. person yeah because yeah. everyone wears it i mean they're the Crazy. biggest clothing company right yeah number one or, Nike. I don't know. I don't it's a guess i'm just throwing that out there i don't know i, I mean know. they make shoes can you doodle real quick <laughs> largest clothing company i'm yeah they do make shoes <laughs> i mean you guys obviously in real clothing, time. Yeah. oh yeah Here this we is go. live did we tell you this is live everyone <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah they're publicly traded that's a good sign largest clothing company nike 22 largest hermes that one's nike Really? I feel like it'd be the other way around. Oh, look at that. Seeger, number one. Oh, <laughs> wow. Trading at $100,000 a share. That'd be so Damn. crazy if we found out this way. <laughs> Whoa, Just casually. The someone stole it. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Was it Nike? Or what I don't know. It? I just want a list Nike. that tells me like one through Leading ten. Leading name yeah. in the clothing industry. Oh, Nike. Nike. Okay. There Hermes International Society. The fuck yeah, anyways, my point is that like it's still not there yet. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's still very, very exciting with yeah. more Seeger. And like usually it's... Uh, a point of conversation like you know you can go up and say like nice shirt or hat and for the most part unless someone's like doesn't want to talk to you they're like oh thank you like um sometimes they'll recognize us just because of the podcast or we're in a lot of our marketing materials so that's cool too and so it's it's a nice little like small we're still a small company just like meet the people that support us and and it is pretty rad that's, totally, that's yeah. Like, yeah. no i think it's awesome and i think not losing that excitement like keeps the brand like authentic. Totally. i think when you lose reach of like being excited of your own product like yeah. when it's on the open it's just like well then why do you even do it if you're not like excited yeah, about exactly. the thing that yeah. you just made once it becomes like a numbers game or something it's a job yeah it's like, job well, i don't want it to feel like a job you I know, know. So, yeah curious from you uh what like what did you see your first like success in was it because uh, i know you have a really specific style and did you hone in on that like hey this is what i want to be my style this is what makes me successful or was it more so like something else yeah, I think for me, I think early on, I was just kind of doing anything. I was like, anything that anybody wants, I just, I'll do it. And I think it's because I didn't have like the credibility behind my work, but I knew like from like teaching myself and like going to school for it, I'm like, I can make things. I just don't need someone to give me a shot, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Did you go to design school for it? Yeah, so I oh, went nice. to uh, Santa Barbara City College and I transferred from there to Azusa Pacific University. Mm -hmm. And that's where I got my degree in design. Um, and yeah, when I was there, I basically... I kind of told myself like I don't I don't really want to work on campus and like no offense to anyone who like works like yeah. out, like on campus doing like whatever job but I was like I don't I sh if if I'm gonna do this for a living like design or whatever I want to start now and so basically what I had done is I created like a super long extensive spreadsheet that one of my friends like who works in like sales or something like essentially was like use this template to like like keep track of like your outbound like cold call emails uh, and so basically what, is that, what I did is I just listed out just anyone and everyone I ever wanted to work for and there was like columns of like so it was like the brand name and like then type. I would, yeah I would like oh, like sick. what they do or like what type the what type of brand yeah. it was and then I would like go online and fill in like okay like Adidas and then type in creative director and LinkedIn and then like find this person's name and then from there I would like guess their email because I'm sure for you guys yeah. like oh your email is like a it's a first name, last name, yep. first initial, last name. Yeah. And so I would guess through email and like I built like a Squarespace just real quick with like all the projects like I had to show or wanted to show. And then I just kind of like would send like cold Damn. call emails Damn. and then I'd go in the spreadsheet and be like, okay, so-and-so answered. This is outbound, but no answer yet. And then if they did answer, like what was the response? And it was like this. I actually looked at it the other day. Yeah. I was like going through like like looking for something and i was like oh my gosh this is the thing from like Jeez. when i was in college yeah. like 2015 or 16 or whatever what kind of artwork did you have or did you like i know some people like mock other companies like do like a mock draft of another company even though they didn't get paid for it just to show like oh could have done this yeah. for this company 
Were you doing I, that? Or was for it? me, it was just like I was making things for myself, but then, like, I think I've always felt weird about like I didn't want to like make something for another company if they didn't like ask me to yeah. yet, or if I didn't feel confident, or sometimes like I feel like when people do that, it I feel like it could come off as like a slap in the face of the company. I was like, what, you think we're not good enough to make our own thing? You know, so I was like, I basically just made a portfolio of things that like I've made that and it's like out in the world or it's things that like I made for myself that like feel like a graphic or whatever. And I just, I didn't have much, but I compiled enough to like just get bites here and there. And then I just like got work with like different brands doing like a lot of it was like, I knew like, oh, there's like big companies like, you know, like Nike or Adidas or whatever on the list. But I knew like they're not going to, they, they're probably, they're probably not going to like look at my email and like take me super serious. So I was like, how do I inch my way to like, you know, working with like a smaller brand where like, oh, it's like just like two people behind it or like a smaller musician and then kind of like crawling my way like further and further. But um, yeah, a lot of it. And I've worked in-house for brands and like agency side, but in terms of like my own like personal like design work and like aesthetic that was just me just kind of like i don't know it's almost like i've, I've worked two jobs yeah. at the same time of like when i was working in-house for brands i'd go home and then like stay up until like 1 a.m like doing other stuff for yeah. like clients and like and that's where it kind of speeding up to now it's like i just like switched it over yeah to uh kind of like doing my own thing fully Dope. That's sick. It seems like, uh, I guess you could probably say it for every industry, but it seems like with graphic design or art, it's, what's that damn snake or whatever, where like the more gigs you have behind you and you build that portfolio, the easier it probably gets, right, to get gigs. Or totally, like, yeah. to start, it's got to be very intimidating when you're just cold calling. You're like, hey, man. Yeah. You know, like the first gig, I can't imagine that. It's like, how the fuck? Right? Like even for Eli with video, like how the fuck? How do you get that first gig, do we know, when you haven't, like, proved yourself yet, you know? No, totally, it's yeah. It, it's, like, and I think, too, it's just, like, finding that balance of kind of, like, betting on yourself to be, mm -hmm. like, to be humble enough to be, like, I don't know a lot, but also to be, like, I know enough that, like, if I get put in, a, if I'm cornered into, like, okay, they said yes, now, like, you better do what you're, like, told you, you're, like, you're promised to do. And so, yeah. like, for me, it was, like, a lot of that of, like, you know, like one of my early internships was for the brand Iron and Resin in Ventura. Yeah. And when they brought me on, I was like, I don't know how to like, I knew I know Illustrator, InDesign, and like Photoshop, but like, I don't really know anything about like tech packs or like yeah. how to Pantone properly or like even making things. And oh, so you were like designing clothes too? Yeah. So like when I was still in college, like in the summer, I interned there when I went back home to Santa Barbara. When um, you interned there, did you did they like make you? work kind of thing or yeah no i like, like a lot of it was like labor. fully like yeah like <laughs> just cleaning the toilet no but like, <laughs> I was, like you know <laughs> doing like like i think they saw like the my boss at the time was like oh he's good at like design or like there's like some passion fire there so he would just be like fire off t-shirt graphics and that's where like yeah i would like you know kind of like actually like push myself there and then even like one of the early things i worked on like as an intern there was like uh it was like a collection for like Dan or Boots or something. And he was like, hey, we need to make a jacket. Like, here's some files from like stuff we've had. Can you like put together a jacket? And I'm like, I like clothes, but I don't know how to make a jacket. And so yeah. I like figured out like, I think it's, I'm sure like you guys can test it too. It's just like when you're thrown into it, it's almost better than like reading a book about it is yeah. when you're just like figure it out. Yeah, and trial and error. Yeah. yeah, we were so fucking bad when we started with that. It is. A, there's a lot of work that goes into making a jacket. For example, we would just fucking drive to L.A. and yeah, we, we'd go backwards. Whereas like now, it's such a different process. But we would go completely backwards. Oh yeah. We would just be like, "This is what it looks like. Well, this is what it looks like. What's the material? That's it." Yeah. And then ends up not fitting right. And oh yeah. Everything's a little bit off. Oh my god. Yeah, it was brutal. I remember one of our manufacturers was like downtown. I guess in like the fashion district, whatever they call that, under the freeway just fucking fenced up all sketch, you know, and that guy was a homie, but it was, it was very bad. Like you could tell he had asked us like, so what do you guys want? And we're like, uh, we like maybe like this jacket, but a little bit like this, Yeah, <laughs> you know, it was hard, but I feel like we learned how hard it is from that, you know, and yeah. now, now it's, yeah, like I said, it's so different now. It's fucking anything, you know, which oh, almost yeah. makes it harder because the options are endless, you yeah. know, but but it's cool. The creative world is is super sick, and even with Eli, you know, I've learned a lot about like cameras and shit. I knew nothing. Yeah, 
There you go. Black magic. Just Black uh, magic. <laughs> bang. Just, just it's On the way here, I was actually <laughs> listening to, because I'm homies with Tim from Farm League. Oh, so. oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know you interned there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah which that's, is awesome. That's why I moved out to California like five years ago. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. But I, that's when I first learned about you is because I like followed them like so religiously. Oh and then you did God. that mural for them. Yeah. Damn, what a full How circle. long ago was that? Uh, I don't know. It was a couple of years ago. But I met them through just how I probably get yeah. you guys just through Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And I've just been followed along with them and like done like little collaborations. I did like an art show like at their studio mm-hmm. and did the mural too. And, um, <clears throat> they're like one of the I like I, like I totally admire like everything because oh, they yeah. they're just so it's kind of like what you had mentioned when you guys were talking to him of like you can't really pin down farm league because they just do everything exactly and I feel like for me I kind of like embodying that a little bit of like you just I just like doing everything yeah, and it kind of just keeps me on my toes and like keeps my ideas like super fresh when it's like not locked in I feel that so when did when you were going trucking along right like you have the internship and like when did you feel confident that you're like this is i've established myself like when did you get to that point yeah i think it's funny that you say that because even now i'm just like i don't really know yeah yeah like half the time like i don't fully feel and i think it's finding that balance between like like i was saying it's like humble enough to be like i don't know a lot but confident enough to be like okay i can do it when like push comes to shove um yeah i don't know i think I'm still figuring it out now. I think, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's hard to, like, figure yeah. out when exactly. I it think it's like just like a moment, like, a defining moment where you're like, fuck, yeah, I've got this gig. Or, like, got brand Adidas. That you're locked in, yeah. They're like, yeah. oh, dream brand. Like, there, was, yeah. there was actually one, one of my early, like, bigger moments was, like, I actually did have a chance to work with Adidas, and it came through oh, cold call. Um, and so that exact Crazy. story where, like, I, so it was post-college, um, and I, um, yeah, I was doing the whole, like, I don't know, just, like, cold calling. And I, yeah. I had, like, projects under my belt where I'm like, okay, that's a real thing, living out in the world. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to shoot really high and, like, go for it. And I typed in – or, like, I was like, okay, Adidas creative director on LinkedIn. And the first – there's, like, one guy that shows up, and I'm just like, okay, like, I'm going to try. Yeah. Like, his email has to be, you know, yeah. one of these combos. So I drafted an email, and I, like – kept sending it kept bouncing back kept bouncing <laughs> back and then one went through and i was like i think it went through and then a few days later he responded and i sent like a pdf of my work and he was like hey your work is really cool like do you want to get on a call and i'm like oh my Whoa. gosh yeah, it's actually Damn. Worked. like <laughs> it's worked before but i'm like not on like the level of working with like a big brand yeah and uh i remember getting on the call and this is like before like zoom was super big so it was just like a conference call that you had to like dial into and before we started, he was like, hey, we have so-and-so and so-and-so. So there was, like, a, a good amount of people on the call. Uh-huh. And he was like, hey, before we start, how did you get my email? Was it through this person? Or maybe I'm guessing it's probably through this person You're like, yes. from this department. <laughs> yeah. And I was, like, sweating bullets. <laughs> and I'm, like, sharing. I was working in, like, a little studio <laughs> paper that I shared with my friends, and no one was in there. And I was like, do I tell them how I got it? And I was like, well, actually, like, I just really want to work with you guys. And so I went on LinkedIn, and I s- typed in grade director and I saw your name and I figured this would be a good place to start and I sent it and everyone started laughing and I'm like you freaking it uh, you think you think you're a weird yeah. <laughs> you're a creep yeah and he actually was like dude that's really cool like yeah. that's, you put yourself out there and you totally. went for it yeah. um and then we walked through the pdf of like all these projects I had put together and then uh they yeah the project that essentially they brought me on for there there was one project in that pdf that was a passion project so it was probably like eight client ones and then one that was just like I put in there and I was like oh this is something these are like graphics I made on my own for fun using like my own illustrations and design and like some photography from my friends and at the end they're like oh we want to bring you on for that one because we saw that you self-initiated that and like that's super cool and so we want to bring you on for some projects that are like that nice and then I did like I think maybe like four or five projects and then that dude actually became like a good friend of mine Sick. Um, like fast forward yeah um, but it was funny that was like so that was a moment where I was like wait I'm actually like doing this thing like, yeah, for yeah. Real. and it's like the dream job because you get to do your own creative stuff not yeah exactly something else so what, what were those four campaigns like were they for shoes or for like they were for you know, uh, they brought me on to help with like a lot of um, it was like designing a lot of like graphic and creative direction for basketball at first okay so essentially they had shoes uh like key f- silhouettes that were coming out paired with like a key player. And they were like, hey, we need help. Essentially, it was like 
helping them internally figure out like how do we communicate the this sneaker yeah and so they're like hey this is the shoe and this is the player's signature or it was a player signature shoe and they're like this is how they play this is their style here are, like all assets that we've shot for them here's colorways of the shoe here's like high-res imagery of the shoe um like really nice product shots where it looked like it was like floating but it's just on white or like swiped yeah, background yeah. and they're like show us how to communicate and so Damn, like it created, that's a lot like, of pressure right there so it was like super open-ended yeah. and so like um yeah like i prior to that i worked at a packaging agency for uh about a year or so in ventura mm-hmm. and so we worked with like a lot of um like cpg brands who so worked with like frito-lay um like wd-40 like random yeah. grocery store brands yeah but since we worked with all those big brands um i like learned a lot how to like present well and how to like concept yeah. and like because it wasn't just like oh like make a cool thing it was like no we're working for even at the end of the day it's just like i'm photoshopping flames onto like a cheetos bag <laughs> like you still had to do the whole thing of like use fancy words yeah, and like yeah. how to like concept and present ideas yeah marketing yeah and so i just used that and i, I applied like it to that ton of money if you did like a master class on that i feel like so many for sure designers that we work with don't not <clears throat> all of our designers but shots there's there's, yeah. <laughs> there's so many that just like present it in like a you know it's really cool art but it's like okay like sh- tell us more like create something for us yeah give us the energy yeah give us the energy yeah. so i haven't yeah. heard of anything like that out there too yeah like so someone like, that's explaining like how to pitch clients in the design world yeah. everyone's just on their own it's like survival of the fittest in the design world totally yeah. yeah and i think working that job like it really showed me i essentially like I took all of those learnings and I was like, okay, how do I apply it to like stuff I'm really excited about? That's like more in surf or like streetwear or like fashion or like art, you know, it's like, how do I take how to pitch to like a Frito-Lay client or like put together like a extensive PDF with like concept and like brand positioning and all that. But how do I apply it to like cool things like that I'm super excited about. And so, yeah, that job, not, it wasn't actually like my favorite per se doing that. But I think it was like I needed that, like yeah, kind of like sense. boot camp. I mean, that's about as corporate as it gets. Brands like that, like huge. Do you have any of the? Like, can we Google it and find some of the Adidas stuff? Or er, the Adidas stuff? I'm not sure because they like cycle it so fast. Yeah. But if you do, if you do Google Ruffles Flame and Hot, no <laughs> way. There's one iteration. I think they changed. They it. made a Flame and Hot Ruffle. Yeah. I would smash that. Oh. oh. That's your boy right there. No oh, way. One? No, uh, left one. Oh, this what? guy? What? The yeah. classic? <laughs> Damn. Oh, boy. Oh, what the flames. heck? <laughs> that was like the actual flame boy on there. And also, check it out. You see the the ridges under the blue? Under the yep. blue. Oh, yep. yeah. that. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, it's all burnt. Oh. The shit, oh, it's all burnt. Well, you can buy it from their website. Wait, I wonder how many people go to the Ruffles website. Let's buy website. a bag, bro. Yeah, you guys are the first dog. people to go on the Ruffles website <laughs> in four years. I've never thought they had a website. Dang, wait, so you're the burned the burned part <laughs> underneath Ruffles. You're right the That's part. so funny. That's, That's fire, bro. Uh, wait, what about like the jalapeno? <laughs> that is. That's a jalapeno, that? bro. Yeah, that, you know, so the funny thing, working in that industry for like right out of school, Ridges. like they would uh, <laughs> bring in like a photographer to like shoot the like the chips in real life. So like they would like send unmarked bags of chips and there'd be like a food stylist with like tiny tongs, like no fucking way. finding the perfect <laughs> one. And then even like That's the, the pepper, job. like they would be like, they would look at the, they would have literally like it's not 400 peppers enough. and they'd be like, oh, this one has a little too much this. This one has a little too much this. <laughs> That's so with, like crazy. white gloves. I always Picture like a job. full, like how you guys do a studio shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just a table peppers. with one pepper. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, oh, shift it here, shift it here, shift it here. And then there's someone from Frito like behind. Like, yeah, there's like a. Who has the final say on that shit? Is it like a creative director? They're like, like a VP right or whatever at like Frito Lay. I would, so I would weird. love to hear how much like someone at Ruffles is paying to get this done. Like just packaging. I have a friend who, shout out Scotty. Uh, hey, he, uh, the ruffle king. He, ruffle king. Yeah, he, he, he smashed so he many helps of these. With a bunch of these like f- food like things. So yeah. he's the one that like. Oh, like, he's the guy. And I asked him so many questions one I, day. Like this like, is going on like probably millions of ruffles chips. You know. So, yeah. Like, probably they probably build a lot shit. of money for it. Yeah. No, they would do. I mean, and I think learning like the business side of like design, like but even something like this, you'd be like, yo, it's just like. A flaming pepper like who cares yeah, but they would do it. like they'd print it out and put it in like a fake grocery store and then do like a 
almost like a group like they'd have like a yeah, group come in and, like, yeah or like look at a bunch of bags or like Jesus. they would do things where they would I don't know. I think it'd put like stick dots on people's no. faces and see where their eyes go. That's too the much effort. People are going to eat a fucking chip. You know what I mean? I it's like wild. It's and we would shit. get back the report of like our bag of like the presented and they, it would be a heat map. No, of, no, like fire. their eyes what? went here first and then their eyes went wow. here. So you change the orientation of the logos that's, or like that's how dang. the elements stack. Wow. Um, I think it's funny how there's even like. Reviews. I wonder who like <laughs> made oh, that the upset. standard. You oh, know, yeah. it's like we got to do this. Oh, yeah. To yeah. really see what's going on. Yeah. Some psychologist. I mean, it's great. I mean, going to chip aisle and like. There is, See like, you look bag. at there's a little a bit of a battle. Yeah, you know? for sure. Or if sure. you go in, like, a beer aisle now, like, the packaging's super cool, so you're just like, oh, wait, what looks, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, but yeah, anyway, so all I have to say, Fuck. I would just, I took that kind of, like, yeah, I'm not super excited about this, but how do I apply that to essentially the rest of my life, like, moving forward and, like, the rest of my creative career? Um, so your style was influenced by the, the hot ruffles? So when you say that <laughs> yeah. that ruffles bag is yours... What did you do to it to make it yours? I want to know like the specifics. Uh, so you like, had some secret code or something in there? Yeah. Essentially, actually, if you hold it up to National the mirror, Treasure. it's like my name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's spell out my name. Yeah, it's got lemon juice on it. Essentially, like, I mean, it's I don't have it because it's on a server somewhere like out in the world, but it's just like, I mean, it's, I essentially like concepted three iterations. I don't know what the other ones are. Yeah. Maybe this is probably like the one that was like the easiest or like the safest because so, a lot of those brands are like, they just want the safe. So did you do, like, you concepted the blue on top with the white and the red and the blue again? Or did you just, is that, like, or... So, like, a lot of those things are, like, design, like, hierarchy. Like, you, you just got to leave it, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but a lot of it is just, like, and a lot of the assets, like, you can't really mess with yeah, Flamin' Hot. With you can't things. mess with the flame on the bottom. You can't is mess Flamin with the Is Hot a brand? It's, like, a sub... Of Cheeto or something? Or who the fuck owns that? Yeah, it's, like, a... Probably, like, just a it's yeah, so it's a Frito Lay product, so yeah. it's just like. But there's like not just like a flaming hot thing. Like no, like flaming hot combo. It's like a, they spray it on shit. Can you buy just flaming hot powder? No, I don't <laughs> that think would be so. kind of cool. That Who the fuck would not buy that? Oh, it sounds like they could like mess you up pretty bad. Yeah. Should no. That? It'll yeah. just say like yeah, dosage. Yeah, people. I just had flaming hot. Dude, like <laughs> a serving size. <laughs> like put it on their. Eyeballs. Can you just do it over to it like flaming hot powder or something? Seasoning. The same Rocky Mountain water. The same brewing tradition that started in 1873 in Golden, Colorado. Because when you're a favorite beer of rock stars, smugglers, cowboys, and presidents, you don't compromise. That's our legacy. What do you want to go down in history for? Coors Banquet. Start your legacy. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's a whole. Seasons. That's a product right there. They're gonna make ten billion on it next year. Whoa! It was a 2023 film. Yeah, it's a movie. Okay. No. Nah. <laughs> that's just all like people recreating. Yeah. It. I mean, that's good. Put in like a, like a seasoning. Thing. Yeah, they would yeah. sell a pound popcorn or some shit. You kidding me? Sport. Make some eggs. You gotta oh. learn how to present it. You gotta present exactly. it to the board. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Exactly. Master to the board by DJ. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, sharks. Yeah, that's fun. I love that it got a four point eight star too. By the way, the chip. Like, who the fuck? Can, <laughs> give it can we pull up some of DJ's work? Just yeah. like Instagram or something or a website. I, I would say just. I, I kind of am curious if you just type in this to Google DJ Javier. That's how you pronounce it, Javier. Yeah. Cool. What are the odds there's an actual DJ out there? Oh, for sure. That's why there's an underscore. Oh, beginning. really? Because I think there's an actual... DJ Javier. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. So how, how did you, like, develop your style? Because it's so unique, you know? Like, I feel like in the industry, it's, like, so easy for people to, you know, like, get inspired, and then it kind of turns into just copying in a sense. But I feel like your stuff is so, like, individualistic. So I was just curious on, like, how you developed it. Great it's question. pretty insane. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, like... I think a lot of it too is I think I have like a lot of different in interests between like whether it's like surfing or like street art or like I mean like like traditional tattoos or like cartoons like there's like a whole like gamut of things mm -hmm. I mean being a designer too like when it comes to like packaging and branding and like illustration and so there's like a lot of things and honestly I think for me like a lot of it was just like who do I admire and like why do I admire them and you know, like essentially like deconstructing how, why my favorite people design in a certain way. And it's like, oh, like, why do I like that specific thing? And essentially, how can you like take that and make it your own? And mm -hmm. it's like that saying of like, it's not where you take it from, it's where you take it to. And so, um, and even then, like for me, like I've had people like send me something be like, yo, this, this guy made a thing that looks just like yours. I'm like, 
that's all like that's awesome like they're figuring it out like how i had to figure it yeah, out yeah, you yeah. know like i never get bummed when like i see something that looks like mine because like i had to figure out too like that's... i had to find a way to like make my style and so um yeah whenever really i meet people or see people who like have a similar thing or someone tries to like send it to me of like a yeah you should call them out I'm like no they're I they're think we did that. Yeah, no, that's funny. It's a funny story because we, uh, <coughs> our in-house artist Corey, shout out Corey. He made something that was really similar to yours, like the three guys. Oh, walking. he sent it to me, and I was yeah. like, dude, yeah. yes, I, I know. And I was Johnny, like, though, I, wasn't it? It might have been. Oh, yeah. it was Johnny. And then yeah, Corey Johnny. saw it and liked it. Corey saw it and, re- and put it on like a, a shirt or something, and I was <coughs> like, I think we didn't do that because it's too similar to DJs, and like I just don't want him to get all mad or whatever. No, yeah, he reached out and I was like, yeah. absolutely yeah. run it. That's yeah, so awesome. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty stoked that you were yeah. like super nice about it. And, yeah, but um, I still don't think we. I don't know. I don't think we've used it. Yeah, yet. yeah. We we're still me. scared. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, your, your characters and especially like because you do like a surf character with a hood. I feel like that is just so your style, and I've never seen anyone kind of recreate that. You kind of made up that style. It's that Santa Barbara. Thank you. Yeah. No, I so sick. It's crazy. It's just because the water's. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, not like right. Santa Cruz cold, but it's yeah. cold enough to be like my head's cold. Yeah. Because like the air is cold. And I've so, had that down here. I had you um, yeah. So I've like start. I do that, and then like I don't know. It's hard to like pin down. That's super dope. Like a lot of this stuff is kind of like Smurfs. Oh, like yeah, kind of like '90s skate or surfing or like a little bit of street art. And so, um, what what are some of the, your favorite brands that you've worked with? Um, I mean, I love like you just saw, but I love like Stance. Yeah. They've been super cool, and it's funny in that same episode, like with Tim, of like saying like how his work is like Stance too. I think for me, it's like I like how working with Stance. They're just like you don't really know what's gonna happen like yeah. when you turn the corner, and so yeah. I think for me, they've been super fun to work with. Um, when I did my Vans shoe, that was super cool. Um, just because that whole project was like around my Filipino heritage, which is super awesome, and. The fact that they were like, yeah, let's run it. I was like, That's there's so no great. changes. Like, I, they sent me the tech pack, and I sketched it out, and then I vectored the whole thing and laid it out and did everything and presented it. And they were like, let's send it to production. I'm like, this normally doesn't happen, like, <laughs> that smoothly. And, yeah. um, like, that was a really cool opportunity just because, uh, yeah, it was just, like, to work with like the biggest like you know next yeah, to like nike fo- footwear brand yeah. yeah and then do something that's like super close to home um like my dad um my par- both my parents were just like this is insane you know like that i got Fuck to yeah. do a shoe that was like for like our, our heritage yeah. and like for like our yeah, greater that's community insane. that's super yeah. cool are there any that you didn't like working with or you had really bad experiences with uh la rams Maybe I shouldn't say that on air. <laughs> no, I've yeah, had, right? there's been, I mean, like just a tiny, tiny, like maybe one or two where I'm like, I don't know. I think being an artist, like when you're not really respected or like you're given the runaround or like I've had people like try to not pay or really? like kind of do like okay. kind of like really backwards things. And um, yeah, so like that, that's that been tough. That's only happened like a tiny handful of times, but we can talk about that off here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm down. I feel like from Let's looking at tea. all this, uh, Eli's just been scrolling through your art and I'm staring at it, and it, it's uh, it's it's fun to look at, honestly. This but so it sick. makes me think, what was that one, the Yellow Submarine, that Beatles movie back in the day? Oh, yeah. I feel like if you made an animation, you could make a fucking movie from some of these things, you know? Like, these are straight characters. No, totally, yeah. I've had, like, on the bucket list, like... I never thought I'd want to, but like I was like, oh, I'd love to do like a kid's book or something. That'd be cool. Especially now having like I have a three or almost three year old and a three month old. Yeah. yeah. And like having to read with him all the time, I'm just like, man, some of these books are like, wow. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I'm like, some of the drawings are kind of not cool. And sometimes like he'll get a cool one every once in a while. Yeah. Um, But like, yeah, there's definitely stuff. I think as I've continued to grow in my career, like I would have never thought I'd do like so much work for like the LA Rams or whatever. Yeah, that's I think for me, I've just been like, oh, like I shouldn't feel like I can only do X, like X thing. Like I should just keep yeah, there's going, no limit. Figure yeah, it the out. Diversity you know? is sick in it. A yeah. book would be really rad. I could, I could totally see. Yeah, that like one of like the hard like kind of cardboard one. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I'm on board. Yeah, but I'm sure for you guys too to be like, there's no limit to whatever. Yeah. Opportunities for sure. Exactly. You yeah. know, we definitely try and keep that same sentiment. We have like our core styles, like you were saying too, with surf and stuff, like. We have our core interests, but it makes everything and everyone have more fun. I think when you just open it up and just, it helps like create just the creative process, you know, like it doesn't pigeonhole you into doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. It's almost like kind of telling yourself like, why not? Yeah. Why not? You know, 
whether yeah, it's like if you guys want to do like i mean like whatever it is it's just like why not like let's figure out a way yeah. to do it you know yeah very much <clears throat> the companies that are tagged at the top are those companies that you've started uh where like at the in your bio Oh yeah, so like Buy and Serve Club, that's just like what I call my like creative like practice. Yeah. Like that's almost like my studio. Um, Conto, Conto Vision is just like another like almost like it's essentially just like my other little kind of like passion brand with yeah, like a good sure. friend of mine. And then the newest one, Lumpia Surf Team, is also like another like passion like you know uh, graphic tee kind of thing. That one is just more like essentially for me, Conto is just like everything I want to do just like graphic wise that me and my buddy come up with and Lumpia surf team given the name is just like, it's almost like Kanto except it's Filipino. And it's like all like everything has like a little bit of like a cultural twist to it. Um, which has been fun. Cause I had a lot of people like buy stuff and they're just like, Oh, like there's nothing out there like, like this for me, especially like growing like a lot of Filipino American people, especially in California, like have grown up super similar of like, they all like similar things and they like similar music. And we all kind of grew up, in similar like ways almost and so this is just like another <laughs> pet project um what does lumpia mean lumpia is uh essentially just like a filipino egg roll oh fuck yeah yeah Sounds so like delicious. the first graphic i ever made was like a guy surfing All on a lumpia one? yeah so uh, that's like yeah. um that's fun sean actually filmed this oh, oh so yeah yeah shout out sean <laughs> sean's a man he knows how yeah, to Sean's. Dance. But, um, so yeah, this is just like another, like, and this is in my old studio. Um, I moved into a new one now, but yeah. So like I said, I like to have like, aside from my own personal and like client work, I almost like put too much on my plate sometimes cause I have like too many ideas. Um, but it's fun to like kind of be able to do this and also just figure out, like, I think I've been doing it for so long that I'm like, Oh, I know how to make things. I know how to like send something into production or like make something real so it's just yeah, it's yeah, fun yeah. to be able to just be like what's that creative process like like if you get a gig or you just want to draw or stay creative like how do you start because there are all such different scenes and styles you know yeah. like how are you you're like i'm gonna do two dudes getting very like where how does that start you know yeah i mean i think i mean from like the client side um i mean honestly with everything i just like i sketch a lot and i draw a lot um like a lot of the time like I'll have ideas and I'll like write it on my phone if I can't draw it real quick, like on my computer and on my phone, like there'll be random note pages of like, what is DJ talking about? Like, is he okay? Like, cause it's just like random things. I'm like, Oh, like of things I should draw or like graphics I should, like I want to work on. I just bullet it out. And then honestly for like, whenever I work with like brands or companies, um, even like murals or whatever it is, like I just, everything is just like a PDF and everything is like concepts and like, for how like my studio back in Santa Barbara is like, it's pretty like all over the place. There's just, I have a ton of stuff everywhere. But the only thing in my life that's like super organized is my Dropbox. It's like perfectly, Jeez. everything is like tightly, tightly organized. Yeah. All my PDFs are always the same. I like present everything like the same and concept everything the same. And um, so like whenever people approach me for work, like, yeah, it's taking that like agency working with like big client background and apply it to like, even if I'm just like, I'm doing stuff for like a friend for like super cheap or for free. A lot of the time I'm just like, Oh, well let me like, I treat it like with the same um, kind of like effort that I would do with like yeah. a bigger project. Quality presentation yeah, is the key. Oh yeah. That's definitely the move. So do you have anyone working for you or with you on in your, like your studio or is it just yourself? So the only like consistent partner I have working with me is I have a manager. Um, okay. And so she just keeps everything in line and she keeps like, she's helped really like grow a lot of my work. Like a lot of the bigger projects I've done recently, she's helped kind of like navigate and like grow those things. Yeah. Um, she works primarily in like the music and like rap space doing like talent booking and managing. Uh, yeah. And so I'm the only fine artist on her roster. So she's been able to take her learnings from that and like apply it to like my visual side. And a lot of the people that she works with, also are like musicians or rappers who work with like big brands. And so she's like, she'll just like kind of weasel me in there a little bit when she sees fit. Mm -hmm. um, so that's like been the big thing of like having someone like that to like yeah. work with you. Uh, but everything else is just like me in the studio trying to do like eight things at the same time. Like whether it's like, you know, yeah. priming a panel and then making a little presentation, yeah. making a change, like, or, you know, going back and forth. Yeah. Do you do anything? I mean, I'm sure you do, but what, outside of working which sounds like a lot like how do you stay 
not overworked? Like, are you surfing a bunch or like, how do you stay creative and happy? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah, it's a lot of surfing. Um, or like I have like, I'll like ride my bike or whatever. I have like a gravel bike, um, nice. or just hang it with my family. Nice. But a lot of times too, like, I think I love what I do F- for the most part. There's days I'm yeah. sure for you guys too, where you're just like, are you kidding me? Like another zoom or like, yeah, you know, yeah. whatever it is. But like, a lot of times where like my wife will be like, like, it'll be the evening and she's like, why are you working? And I'm like, well, I want to, like, this is yeah. an exciting thing, yeah. you know? And I'm sure there's stuff for you guys too, where you're like, oh, yeah. this I want to work on. Like yeah, I can yeah, sit yeah. and work on this till like four in the morning, you know? And so, um, yeah, I think it's like a blessing and a curse to like be so excited about your work sometimes where mm. it's just like, you can't let go. But other than that, it's like, it's pretty much like if I'm going to spend money on something or like do something outside of my creative work like i'm probably just gonna go surf like if there's waves in santa barbara which almost never happens then like you best believe like i'm canceling meetings yeah, and I'm, like, the move. opening up like the calendar and i'm just like i'm gonna go for like four hours yeah is it that rare in santa barbara is it is it, like more so in the winter or more so uh i mean there's more so there's definitely more waves <coughs> in the winter and what's nice about santa barbara is like there's so many point breaks that like there's a lot of just really lined up spots which is super fun but because like the islands are blocking it's like we don't get it that often. Yeah. Like if it goes like above, if it hits like waist high on any given day, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like opening day. This is like, Jeez. this is what I'm dreaming of, yeah. you know? But then I'm sure down here you're like, oh, waist high, that's just like a normal day here, yeah. you know? Yeah. So like it doesn't happen like too often, I feel but like. it makes it, whenever I go anywhere else that has waves, I'm like, this is amazing. When like people I'm stripping with are like, this is just a normal day here. <laughs> do you ever, how often do you get like on a boat to go to the islands or? or I've actually there? never. i never done it. Yeah. yeah. I think something about like being on a boat and then going that far, like I love being in the ocean, but um, I think something about that, I'm just like, oh, this feels like, <laughs> you too, know. Too gnarly. It's yeah. an adventure. Like I actually, so I didn't learn how to swim until I was like 17. Wow. And I learned how to surf when I was 18. Damn. So like that part of like the ocean like i'm i go surfing and i'm in the water whether it's like surfing or body surfing like all the time like it's a fast transition week. yeah like go into waves and stuff, oh yeah because you know? i had friends who like were surfing and they're just like dude you should learn how to swim and so <laughs> one of my friends taught me how to swim and then another friend was like well you know how to swim you should learn how to surf now and i'm like no nah, i don't want to learn how to surf like <laughs> doesn't look that fun yeah. and then he took me out and i was like this is actually yeah he caught the insane. bug yeah um what's that one wave when you say like that's way too far out it made me think what's that one is it san diego like miles out to see that like huge wave uh Cortez Cortez Santos. or something yeah um you know what i'm talking about no i can't it's think that of huge it. wave that you get you know what i'm talking about yeah, yeah, I know. On the it's, islands or? it's uh it's cortez bank or cortez something? bank yeah that's it Fuck yeah can you search that real quick that, have you heard of that? Is that? Well, it's just like in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, yeah. you would trip the fuck out. It sounds like your nightmare. Massive, but it's like actually. Yeah, it's like a, a huge wave, random piece of land that's out in the middle of the ocean. That's like, um, it's like freaking Probably. two hour boat ride out there. Damn. Yeah, you're in the middle of the fucking ocean. Yeah, that's pretty terrifying. Hundred miles offshore. Especially imagine being in a boat and you're like, wait, why is there a wave? Yeah. Right yeah. here. Yeah. Hundred miles. Like, oh. Yeah, that would be a fucking trip. You're just fishing. You're Never like, mind. It's more than two. I'm assuming two it doesn't. It doesn't break that often yeah. like that. Yeah, no, no, no. there's no way. Yeah, I think it's super swell. rare. I think it can break on a smaller swell too, but yeah. just like way gnarlier. Yeah, know. it just feels weird, right? Then you're just like in between sets. I guess they got skis, but yeah, yeah. I was just thinking of that as soon as you said like it's too far out. My head went immediately to that. Yeah. I was like, it said it was a hundred miles. Off, yeah, which is yeah. like how that's gnarly. Far. Yeah. <laughs> You're not You're swimming out. back. Yeah. yeah, a lot yeah. further than Catalina. And by the way, that is the fucking DJ off here, right there. The second photo down. You see that one? That's the <laughs> oh, DJ. Yeah. Can you give him a, let's give him a little cool. shout. I'm, I'm honored to share Damn. Google images with him <laughs> yeah, that's like he's having a fucking blast but you're top you're top dog yeah, on dj top javier dog. so yeah i bet that guy googles his name is like are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, how do i get yeah. above Damn this it. guy <laughs> yeah he's in croatia just partying all night croatian summer salsa like, that sounds yeah. like a blast <laughs> 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 yeah yeah are you kidding me sounds fucking awesome i haven't been there yet but when i do go i'm gonna go see him live in croatia in croatia yeah I, f- One day. I feel like you do so many partnerships, like collaborations. How, like, what would you say the percentage is of like DJ Javier X whatever versus just like doing work for a company, like freelance style? Yeah, yeah. I think more so lately. I feel like it's almost been like eighty percent like working with brands, 
because I think they see like collaboration wise. Yeah, yeah, like collaboration wise, because I think a lot of them see like the opportunity and like storytelling and being able to see like the more like robust yeah, of like the work, like the back oh, piece yeah. of it. And I think doing like the fine art stuff and the mural work and um, I think just hearing like my background or like story or like my family story, there's like more to it, you know? But then even at the, at the same time, like I still do like a lot of work that's just like, you would never know like, oh, I worked on that, you know? And so, which like still is like a ton of fun because it kind of keeps me on my toes of just doing stuff that's like, like sometimes people assume like, oh, you probably don't like doing this. I'm like, honestly, like there are times where like, I like organizing a line sheet. I don't yeah, know. Like yeah. I like the more corporate designer in me still likes like doing all that kind of stuff too. Um, but yeah, it's been fun to do like the more partnership stuff, which is like, like I said, it's crazy to like kind of like have opportunities like that where I'm like, you want to work with me? Like these brands, you know? Um, and like I said at the beginning, it's like finding that balance between like being humbled and like excited that like, whoa, I got this opportunity. Um, and also being confident to be like, okay, I can, I can kill this. Like, mm. we, like given the opportunity, yeah. you know, did you do that one with Huckberry and Coors or was it just you and Huckberry? Yeah. So that was, Huck, both. yeah, that was okay. m- me, Huckberry, Coors all together. Yeah. Um, that was sick. A cool. threesome. Yeah. If you will. If you will. Yeah. <laughs> we actually uh, made those hats. Yes. That's hats. what they told a me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And you know, it's <laughs> funny. A someone, <laughs> someone had emailed me, uh, or like they sent me a DM and apparently like they're, it was like this girl's boyfriend like had the one of the hats and then he lost it and he was like absolutely devastated. Oh, wow. And normally I try to keep one of at least one of everything I have, but I was just like, dude, this this person really wants this hat so yeah. badly. And so I just literally boxed it up and sent them like my only one. That's nice. yeah, yeah. So hopefully they weren't lying. Maybe it's like yeah, fun day right now. He's right? like, yeah, I got it's it from like the guy. Two hundred bucks. Who wants it? Yeah. Yeah. That's but, fucking uh, signed it. Yeah. And yeah, that's fun. So what is next then? Do you have like any crazy huge plans coming up? big projects that isn't like NDA'd out, you know? Yeah, I think um, probably, let's see, uh, in March I'm doing the, I have a project with like the LA Kings, which nice. would be really Sick. cool Sick. for their Filipino Heritage Night through uh, this like hockey lifestyle brand called Violent Gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they brought me on to do like a bunch of, like a capsule collection uh, for that event. And then I have like a bunch of murals that I'm working on too, which Fuck is yeah. cool. And then um and obviously like the nda stuff yeah, yeah yeah yeah. which is but yeah so it's it's cool like i said to like have opportunities like this um yeah because yeah, when i was like 15 or 16 i was like there's no way i'm gonna do yeah like i would never i would have never thought you know like even like going back to the vans thing like yeah everyone i bought my first pair of vans like when i was like in the sixth grade with like my own money yeah and i never thought like you'd be designing yeah and then pair. even like i've told like the team at stamps i work with a lot like i remember the first pair of stamp socks i bought they were like navy and red and i bought them at like a sneaker store in santa barbara i remember that first pair and to like now come like full circle and work with them is just like you know so like it's cool like every year to like have more opportunities you know um Mm -hmm. and then honestly i think doing opportunities like this to like hop on with you guys hopefully show like the younger version of me out there like yeah Yeah. you can do this too like you don't have to be good at school you don't have to be like yeah, yeah. top of the class or you don't, you don't even have to be good necessarily right now at like design or art, like just show up and like keep practicing and like just follow, like copy my little footsteps until like you take off. And, yeah. Like, yeah. That's super beyond. helpful to hear. I think that's like when we had TL on same thing, I would say for, you know, that's what brought Eli out to California, but just for, to hear like as the, the younger generation to be able to hear stories of how people got from A to B, I think helps a lot. Cause you don't really, there's not a lot of that out there, you know, unless you're reading books like the Nike yeah. book, you know, like I think that's a crazy big, ones. Part of this podcast is like ho- hopefully someone that sees your name on this and is like, oh, I've wa- followed that guy for years. I want to hear like how he was brought up and like what he he did to get to the point that he's at now. Hopefully there's someone, at least one person out there totally, that's yeah. inspired by this. So Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. I mean, and I've had opportunities like I've met like a handful of people just like one or two people that like oh man i really looked up to him and then when i met him in person they just like <laughs> absolutely let me down yeah, yeah. and i told myself <laughs> like don't that's the do worst that. don't do that <laughs> like, don't, don't be that that's dark right so, like, now who was it you meet, <laughs> who was it we can talk about it offline <laughs> <laughs> uh, like so whenever i meet people or people like ask me like things about like, yeah i'll just i'll reveal all like the secrets and like yeah, yeah. do do it like this or like you know like you gotta get an apprentice 
Yeah. Like you're in the arts guild, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. The Medici. <laughs> yeah, the Medici. I love that word, guild. Um, Sorry. So I'm I curious, just, going back to the heritage <laughs> thing, um, Filipino, you do a lot of work, obviously, in that regard. So is there, a, how do people find you, like for the LA Kings, like how did they know that you were Filipino? Is there like a yeah, they're like, like, we artist need a Filipino database? outreach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know, just find one. Where's yeah. Filipino yeah. art? 80 mile radius. <laughs> yeah. uh, Lumpia. I think it was, um, it's just, I think social media, honestly. Okay. And I think yeah. just doing, like when I've been able to like do more of my own like passion projects and work and like have more opportunities for like, I can talk about my culture and yeah, I think yeah. that's where yeah. you're blasting it out there. Yeah. I think that's Passing where I've been able that to net. find. Yeah. Like do, more do you bring it to them or do like, I guess the first one you probably brought to them and then it worked out and someone saw it and yeah, I think, there. um, like the first one I did was with like LAFC, uh, like the soccer team. We've done every sports team. Yeah. I know. I mean, we've done literally uh, every chargers Dodgers. Are you hey. done the chargers too? I've done, I've done the ramps. Come on. <laughs> Give it to him. Come on. Give it to him. <laughs> That's pretty big. That the Rams are better team. than the Chargers at this point. Yeah, but. They used to be a big San Diego. They game. just had a. Danny shared that thing this morning. The Chargers coach. coach. Jim Har- yeah. Harbaugh. Harbaugh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe Harbaugh. All my boys are talking about it back then. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. It was all fired ship. up. Yeah. Go on the Chargers side. Fuck it. Yeah. But um, fuck so I saw the Dodgers thing. For Shohei. And oh, that was a that was a bootleg. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dodgers, please don't come after me. <laughs> Actually, hire bootleg. me from that. Yeah. I can yeah. do it again. Oh, yeah. so it's real. There you go. Get some and, attention. And, and yeah. Snoopy too. Yeah, the Snoopy, please don't come after me. <laughs> hire me, honestly. <laughs> Sam, who who owns that Snoopy thing? Uh, no. It sounds like a scary person to cross. You know what I mean? Well, I wonder if it, I mean I'm sure it'll be like Mickey Mouse question. one day. Like how Mickey's a. Uh, you could just say it's a white dog. Oh, yeah, it's a white dog. There's no eyes. A white dog with a right. Figure. There's no eyes. You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's like the classic disguise. Like, <laughs> like I don't uh, see it. <laughs> but, yeah. Like, like a little about. yellow bird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> that's a, a sports that's team. That's a piece of gum. That's product. not a bird. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's not in LA. That's uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I feel like oh, sports Louisiana. team bootleg products. Louisiana. Like there's got to be so many out there. Oh yeah, there's no way they can control that. So many. There's no fucking way. Yeah. There's no way. At least this, I, at least like this is like a creative version, not, yeah. like a, not like a shitty version of it. Yeah. yeah. What are your thoughts well, like on the, cartoons having three fingers versus four fingers? Yeah, that's a great you question. You know, for me, it comes to spacing when I'm drawing. Uh, if I'm like, oh, this is... This I is a four finger. Yeah, this is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is, it looks like one of them has four fingers and one of them has three fingers. Well, right it's well one's got fucking nubs, bro. That little oh, piece of gum. Oh, it's his thumb. <laughs> uh, Nub. That's the thumb. Yeah, yeah the bird's got uh, fucking nubs. <laughs> Three yeah. fingers and a Cute thumb. Ass oh, wings. I see the thumb. Wings. Yeah. Wings. Yeah. wings. Wings. Little chick wings. That's, <laughs> that's adorable. That is an adorable drawing. That's an adorable drawing. <laughs> the sunglasses are awesome. Like the Rams gear was sold. I mean, it was at the airport and stuff. Like at the. Wait, really? I th- I'm pretty sure I Your saw. Rams it, gear? Unless I'm tripping out. Holy shit. They, but I, I thought I was. I was at the LA airport and I saw like you know like the Hudson News or whatever. Oh, okay. Like some store. I'm pretty sure I saw. Your no, designs. Wait, no, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I could. Mean, I could be wrong, but I'm the almost first positive. project I did with them Soon. was for. Uh, <laughs> yeah, send it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was for this thing called LA Bold, which is like their fan day, and so I designed like merchandise and then like giveaway flags Damn. and like the stadium graphics. It must um, have crashed. And they're like, fuck it. That one was crazy. That because I went to the game, I didn't know they were gonna make physical. Uh, I thought I was so like, oh, they're gonna make merch, it. but then there was like flags, like. The security guy gave it to me, and I just stood there. And he said, yeah. Can you move? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You know who I am. <laughs> yeah. You know who I am. Give me more of these. Taking the box, <laughs> running into the crowd. Um, I am. And they like animated the graphics too, and so there was like a yeah. So like there's Damn, that's a trip. So yeah, yeah, there's been like a lot of like I said, kind of going back. I'm just like oh, I never would have thought I'd do like going from like almost not graduating high school to like working with the Rams. I'm like, that's like night. Oh yeah. Like, you gotta go up to your teacher and be like, fuck you. I told you. (laughs) There's actually, it's funny. There's, there's actually one, I got interviewed by, uh, our local like newspaper thing. Um, Okay. and like, there was one teacher like growing up who like, cause initially when I was in high school, I wanted to be an architect. Okay. Cause I thought that was like, okay, this is the responsible, but still creative thing to do. Yeah. I took an architecture, like a drafting class my freshman year. I just bombed it. Like I got like. Yeah, it sounds so apps. hard. Because there's like math, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I can't do math. Like yeah. I don't even like when I look at a ruler, I'm like, uh, this notch. Like I don't know which one's uh, like yeah. three eighths or I'm whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I felt like I don't know. I mean, maybe he rightfully so, or maybe he was off. But I'm just like I. I felt like that dude totally like killed my like passion for it. Yeah, he just. And then in the out. interview thing, <laughs> I kind of was just like, oh yeah, this is the Fuck teacher. This guy. 
And then he ended up emailing me after it no came way. out. And I couldn't tell if it was passive aggressive or not. And he's like, great to see you've been doing well. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. You mean that? Or yeah. Yeah. you want to go? <laughs> me and you outside. right now. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Dang. Fuck Parking lot, Dos Pueblos High School. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dos Pueblos. That's, yeah. that's sick that you call him out and you saw it. Like, yeah. Like yeah, I was like, oh, he saw it. But yeah. I'm like, is he actually happy that I'm doing did good? Did you respond or is to him? He, I don't think I did. Yeah, screw that guy. Should, yeah, I, should we do guy. it right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm down. Fuck it. Middle fingers. Yeah. What if he did have good good intentions and now he's just like, damn. I'm sorry. And no, I was no, no way. <laughs> and I was like, I really meant it. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Boo. I don't That's know. We'll never know, I guess. I don't know if I ever had a teacher that just like I could remember being negative to me. There's Dude, always like I had one. There's always mean teachers. You I want to hear yours. One? What do you have? What did you get? Oh, he was in math. Yeah. Is it math? What did she say? Or he? Is it he? What did he say? He was just like, he was fat he's like, me. you need to learn this stuff. And I was like, what? do I? There's calculators. And he's like, yes, if you want to go to college. And I was like, do I? Do I? <laughs> like, and then it was he, like was fucking ruffles fault. in the back. Like, <laughs> 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 Sounds like it was your fault. <laughs> yeah, huh? dude. Sounds like it was your fault. Why was that my fault? You're like, do I? He's like, yeah, I'm a math teacher. Do it. And you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's such a dick about it. <laughs> Could have said it nicer. Yeah. <laughs> Don't turn this on me. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you guys yeah. are on my team. Jesus. That sounds like the hardest <laughs> job ever. A fucking math teacher when no one gives a fuck about math except for <clears> one <throat> kid who everyone already knows is going to Stanford. You know? Have you guys seen The Holdovers? Like the that Holdovers? new movie that's out? Uh-uh. It's like newer. No one, nobody's even heard of it. What's it called? I've never Holdovers? heard the word. No. Um, wow. Okay. That's right. Well, it, it's like nominated for Oscars and stuff. Wow. But... Um, it it's just it's about like, like a really old grouchy teacher. It's uh Marty Wolf in Big Fat Liar. Marty Wolf? Oh yeah. Marty Wolf. Yeah, he's got like the lazy eye. Yeah. yeah. Marty Wolf? Yeah. Who the fuck is Marty? Is that You've the actor's seen him? name? You never seen Big Fat Liar? This guy, oh, Paul, Paul Giamatti. Giamatti. Yeah. Do you know no fucking Paul Giamatti? Marty Wolf. Oh, the blue guy. I don't know yeah. Marty Wolf. I know blue Paul guy. Giamatti, bro. Yeah, the blue guy. guy. Yeah, the blue guy. Yeah, that movie <laughs> was so sick. He, Who he's, said that movie, by the way? Was he's that Marty you? Wolf in Big the, Fat Liar, yeah. Okay, what Big Fat Liar is what you think of when you think of Paul Giamatti. So Holdovers, he's basically like an old an old teacher, I think it's I love based Paul in Giamatti. like the seventies, maybe or maybe even older, but he's just like a super super grouchy teacher, and uh, that's awesome. It's really like indie films. I'll watch anything he's in. It's dude. pretty solid. He's in Billions. It's slow. Great it's show. a long story, but Billions. I think it's just like great really show, well crazy show. Yeah, I'm, I was watching it last night. Anything with Paul Giamatti, bro. I'm fired. Marty up. Wolf. He's a chipmunk. No one knows Marty Wolf. <laughs> yeah, he's in the chipmunks. Chip <laughs> he's the king of chipmunks, bro. He's the king. Uh, yeah. Anyways, Marty was, fucking Wolf, bro. I thought. Wait, when else when seen when it. he was the blue guy, was he Marty Wolf? Yeah. Yeah. How random. He was like the agent. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's like a legendary movie from back in the day. It was classic. He could but really. He could play the Frankie head coach Muniz. of uh, the uh, Chiefs so well. Look at that second photo. Oh fuck, you're right. What's he, his? Uh, yeah, I don't know his oh, name. Coach? Oh, you, uh, head coach, head coach of the Chiefs. Yeah, I don't I'm know blanking on his name. Andy, Andy Reid. Reed. Yeah, Andy Reid. Paul Giamatti. Close there. What? Must They're close. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah. Well, you type in versus Andy Reid. <laughs> <laughs> See what comes up. Hmm? Versus, versus Andy Reid. Yeah, versus Andy. Paul Giamatti versus Andy Reid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what comes up. <laughs> wow, they make him look really old in the holdover movie. Come on. Yeah. Uh, just yeah, kinda. I mean, I, I he gained a, a little I don't, weight. No. He's yeah, yeah. a little older. Yeah. yeah I think fine. a walrus I think we could, could probably a, play another actor for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A walrus. Sorry for going off. Of he was an Eagles coach. <laughs> I don't know enough about football. Anyways, you guys haven't seen it. So yeah, he won a Super Bowl. Watch it. Oh, I don't. Really? I don't even recommend it that much. Actually, it's a great. Don't watch it. Actually, never mind. Forget it. It's a great film. But it's very slow. It's very indie. Great film, horrible movie. <laughs> I, think, I think on the flip side too, with the teacher thing, everyone has one teacher that they're like, that was the guy, or like that was the she was the nicest lady, that keeps you going. Everyone has one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Our Spanish teacher. Uh, that was your number yeah, one. Mrs. Miller. Yeah, Mrs. Miller was yeah. a legend. Shout out Katie. Katie Miller. But uh, yeah. She might even listen to these. Yeah, she's, she's a fan. She's, she's that fan. supportive. But is she hot? Is she <laughs> hot? Hey, is she hot? Jeez, dude. You were that kid. Nice to us. She's going to watch these. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's why I said it, honestly. I thought it'd be funny. You were like that kid. And I just come in here and go say something. She's really blushing funny. right now. I yeah, yeah. Oh, so you guys Katie. didn't say no. Sorry, Katie. What? You should say yes. We didn't say anything. No, we just said, oh, we avoided it. We avoided it. Talk about your teacher. She's like closing her laptop right now. Yeah. That's unbelievable. I haven't changed one bit. F. A. Spanish teacher. F. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was fun, but yeah, that's uh, that was a long tangent there, but yeah, but overall, fuck that teacher. Though. I don't even know. <laughs> <that> teacher, <laughs> I don't even know. Oh yeah, yeah, You're, yeah. You, I mean, I think 
also though it's just like well was i like an angsty little brat who like dude just do the work like you i'm know? sure we all like you right? so i think it's like finding out <laughs> do like what's I? the little you do know I? yeah no, it was, that, it, maybe that was me do i do yeah. I? no no it's like the way he said it. he's like you need to do this if you be su- like if you need to be successful yeah, yeah. And no, it's I like i don't yeah. think this is i'm not gonna go into math yeah. you know yeah. i'm yeah. trying my hardest yeah here. yeah just give me a fucking a yeah. we're all happy yeah. You want me to have an A? I want an A. Mr. Che, a. I'm coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> there was actually, I had actually one teacher in college who, uh, he was like a adjunct comm teacher or pro- like professor or whatever. Okay. And I think he, he was like trying to be funny at, like on the first day of class. And he was like, all right, everybody go around and tell me your major and I'll let you know if you'll make money or not. Oh, and like, he's fuck. trying to, he's trying to like, That's you could tell like he's icebreaker. like, he's trying to be funny. <clears throat> yeah. Poor. And then he got to me and I was like, oh, graphic design. He's like, yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm on the freaking secret podcast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Adjunct. Boom. Son? What's his name? Boom. No adjunct. Idea. Actually, I have no idea what his name is. Ah. Yeah, adjunct. Yeah. Not adjunct. even full time. <laughs> That's what that means? <laughs> adjunct. Full time. I think so. Right? I have no idea. Yeah. It's a new word for me too. It's two new words today. I'm going to name my son Adjunct. Adjunct. (laughs) That's that's a strong name. Yeah. I think there's a strong. There's a good argument for not going to college if you have a good thing going for you. Yeah. Especially nowadays, right? That's a solid argument. I just saw something that said like people are removing. But he did go to college. Yeah. I I know. I'm just saying. We all did. Looking at him like, yeah, good job. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we all went to college. Yeah. No, there's. I saw something the other day, like a news article that was saying that a lot of job applications are removing. One kind of did. Yeah. The, college yeah the, like any bachelor's degree or anything like that from it like, totally, they don't yeah. even care removing what from it uh like uh college you know you put in like where you went to college uh, like they're removing that so it doesn't even matter i think everyone should plan to go to college but if you if something happens during or before college where you, you could like pursue something that you actually totally, yeah. think you go for it yeah i mean i've told like younger like creatives who like are in similar situations who like ask about college i'm apprentices. like if you're not gonna go apprentices yeah um just take that same effort and apply it to like your craft. Like, yeah. go get an internship. Yeah. Go time. like, literally, if you try, yeah, just Don't like teach off. yourself. Go on like yeah. YouTube and like figure out how to do it. I mean, obviously, you can't like figure out how to do like heart surgery or something, but like maybe you I could. mean, good, maybe you could probably yeah. YouTube that. You could yeah. find a like, tutorial. Uh, I don't want that in our world. You could learn anything. Out My heart surgery. really good. That's that's like, he's like, I learned you this on YouTube. YouTube Academy. A dedicated. I played operator for like ten years. Absolutely, yeah. Wow, we should like four conversations. I know. Uh, uh, we're all over. <laughs> Your Spanish teacher's like, what are they talking about? <laughs> yeah. yeah. like, they can't even do a podcast yeah. right. <laughs> Damn it. Exactly. We actually went to school uh, for podcasting. Funny yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys go to school together? Actually, we did. Yeah. And I think, didn't you have a fucking radio, radio show? I had a radio Yeah, gig. you did. Yeah. My brother did that <laughs> too, bro. I forgot yeah. you did that. Yeah. So you oh, I had actually I had like, go to school for that. I had like three listeners. <laughs> What, you mean in high school? No, in no, college. college. Oh. And in radio. high school. I, I was on the, the bulletin in high school. So I'm fucking here, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck everyone. Oh. I'm just kidding. Oh, I didn't wow. listen. They wow. all listening. Dude, what? Jeez. Everyone didn't listen to me. What about all your three supporters? Listeners? Yeah, but what about the three yeah, people? Yeah, what the three people? Jeez. Oh. Me your mom. For sure. Positive here. Katie Miller. Nah, I don't know. I, <laughs> I take back the fuck everyone. But uh, This is a positive you podcast. can't take that back, dude. I can't. Yeah, it's amazing. Once it's out there. Yeah. You can cut it. You could cut it. All I remember right. that, though. Yeah, that was a <laughs> lifetime ago. Yeah, it's just going to skip in the podcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, right before it happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like it says start saying my name. Like, Matt's a... And all right. How's it going? No, we, uh, we went to school together, and we went to middle school up through high school together. And then <laughs> I met school. this... We went to school together. We went to And then Ellie got a new best together. friend. They were all <laughs> in the <laughs> <gender>. <laughs> um, Who, Oh, Sean Collier? I don't know why Sean Collier just popped in my head. I didn't even go to college with him. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, Shout out Sean Collier. Shout out Sean. Hi, Sean. He's so nice. He's so nice. That's going to be the ad right there. He's yeah. the man. He is the man. You ever tossed a beer at him? I. <laughs> you should do it next toss time you see it. Like full speed? Yeah. Like not underhand, like, but overhand? No, <laughs> no. One. One of these. Honestly, Actually, toss anything. it with a good amount of arc. That would yeah. be fun. It's really fun. You know that game it. Trout? I'll put it in like a t-shirt cannon. Right when he comes to <laughs> the studio. Oh, we Literally found anything. one of his skill sets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's you want a cold boy? Right to the Have a great time. Dude, I was actually thinking the other day when we were down at that rodeo in San Diego, because uh, they had some sort of mascot dude or something shooting a t-shirt gun, and it made me think, one, how much do they cost, right? Dude. And then two, should we buy one? T-shirt gun? <laughs> right? How fun would that be, dude? Anywhere. Can you buy one online? Uh, sure of you course can. you can. You can shoot a fucking potato gun, dude. That sounds pretty sick. Oh, they have it on Amazon. Of course they do. Eight hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, see, I had a. Right. It's a business like, expense. Yeah, I was like, the fact they're only at stadiums means oh. they're expensive. None of them are on Prime either. Oh, look at that cannon! 
The Gatling oh, gun? Oh, oh, Let's wow. fucking go. Why is it only UNC, though? <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking down. You Let's could put that on it. the top deck for when people come yeah, the yeah. back way. You here for the podcast? <laughs> yeah. Just Honestly, blows a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> or we get a car and we put that like I can't that's Mexican a fucking military product. style. And we put that in the back like a turret. That'd be pretty sick. Back just driving through San Clemente. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just launch it. Just promo I've, t-shirts. For those of you that are not watching this podcast, there is such thing as a Gatling gun for <laughs> yeah. t-shirt launchers, and it's fucking awesome. Yeah, whoever invented that. Matt, I feel like you got to explain tossing a beer at Sean a little more yeah oh yeah, yeah yeah so we play this game called trout at like every trip we go on and basically the the premise of the game is to catch a beer with another beer in your drinking hand so, so you catch it with your off hand you catch it with your off hand not your like catching regular hand and so the fun of it is like you're in a circle and it's kind of like hot potato if you drop the beer you get a t for trout and then r kind of like uh what's that uh horse horse yeah um and so we're playing. We usually play it on like grass or wherever you can, so the beer doesn't explode too quickly. But if it does explode, you have to shotgun it on on the spot, no matter what your letters are. Um, and the per- first person to spell out trout, they have to shotgun the beer. It's a really simple game. And uh, Sean <laughs> blew our minds by how entertaining he is to play the game. So I highly recommend playing that with him. It is so fucking fun. <laughs> he, he's like the squirreliest trout player ever. He like, a beer ever. comes to him. And so he's like, just, does he catch it? Oh, he, he goes yeah, balls he to the wall. Yeah, he'll, he'll do it wherever he can. Like he'll, he'll dive it. for it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Full like, like flips. parallel to the ground. Yeah, yeah. Dive. But like before oh, yeah. that, he, the reason why he's diving is because it like bounced off his chest yeah. and his cheek. And then, <laughs> yeah. Most people just catch it. You know what I mean? You just catch it and toss it. It's he so awesome. He goes all out. Oh, he goes yeah. all out. Yeah. He commits his life. Yeah, he'll yeah. run off a cliff if he had to. And you know that look he gives you when he's all serious, like toss it to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, Fuck okay, me. the browser right. down. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> the browser <Yeah>. down. <laughs> the browser down. And then and then you toss it to him. He's like, <laughs> 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 yeah, got it. <laughs> he's gonna be uh, so hyped that he's featured. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he really likes when we talk about his trout game, but yeah. yeah. Oh, no, Are you guys patching it. photos on, on, on like the video segment? We totally Can you put a picture of him right here? Oh, we yeah. Your hands? We have g- we have. Uh, Let's make him a I think we have hands. videos of him playing trout because we're all like so <laughs> yeah. amused. Can we get him like little right here? Yeah, yeah, just like yeah, hundred percent. Like the NFL robot. Yeah, the right over your shoulder. The whole yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, the whole time. <laughs> he like peeks over. Yeah, let me say, make a little demon one, a little angel one. That'd yeah. Be fun. Yeah, telling me the answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be <laughs> fun. I can't shut the fuck up. <laughs> you can't say that on air. Signed an NDA. <laughs> Damn. Uh, that's what we should do. We should do NDAs for these. That doesn't make zero case. sense. Yeah, for these podcasts? They're literally just in case. They're for everyone. Just in case. We'll, we'll redact things. We'll beep things out if we have to. The whole thing. I'm just going to beep you out the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah cool. every time it cuts to him, it's just beep. <laughs> he would do that, though. That's what's sad. <laughs> he actually would do that, and he probably will now. Learned that at Farm League. Oh, yeah. Editing True. Skills. What, just beeping? He's the yeah. gotta, specialist. Got to cut out the fat. <laughs> oh, oh, oh fat. my God. Yeah. <laughs> Call them fat. Brutal. He's going to like cut the frame so he's gone. So yeah. actually <laughs> together, it's just three. <laughs> it's Sean right there. Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> That's, oh, that's wow. really sad. This is a, this is a solid five minute conversation about Sean. Right I know. There. He deserves it. Yeah, he does He's the man. It. He is the man. He does deserve it. Fuck. He shot me and Case's weddings. My like courthouse wedding. Wow. Wait, so he went uh oh, yeah. to my wedding in Spain. Yeah. 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 And it was amazing. Oh yeah. He was a fucking blast. Yeah. On the actual night. Elliot didn't uh hire him. I didn't what? hire him. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, <laughs> sorry, Sean. <laughs> I'm just gonna air it out. <laughs> the, I met Sean like the day before your wedding because oh, really? I would I drove up to Slow to shoot with James Barkman for our fall oh. launch. And Sean shot photos, and then I drove down to your wedding the next day. Damn. Yeah, that was the first time I met Sean. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Still going on, Sean, but yeah, we can be no, done. That's all good. He's we gonna be hyped on. Yeah, we can oh, be yeah. done, but I had to say that now. Yeah. That's the world's longest shout out. Sean, right Sean, there. Sean, Sean, Sean. <laughs> yeah. So, what's new with you? You're a Spanish yeah. teacher's like, okay, now who's Sean? I don't know who's Sean. Yeah. We should have him on the, the next episode. They're talking about Sean. Who's Sean? <laughs> Damn. First, they're talking about how hot I was, and now it's Sean. So, how much does it cost to do a mural? Yeah. <laughs> well, I honestly, don't. actually, though, yeah, yeah. I would. How much curious. do you charge? Uh, I mean, it's all. I kind of like chalk it up a little bit to like square footage. Because okay. it's like call. that is like kind of, and also just like where, like sometimes, like I did a mural for the Rams, like it started 10 feet off the ground and then it was 20 feet up oh. from there, oh, like 110 Jesus. feet wide. So I'm just like, uh, this is gonna, this is not just like me on the ground walking back and forth. That's yeah. like 
to like excavator. 35 foot Just kidding. Ex- excavator yeah. boom, boom lifts. Boom yeah. lifts. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like hard to pin down. And honestly, like I like doing them too. So there's like, I mean, with anything, I'm sure like for you guys, if you're like, I really want to work with this brand and they might have like not the best budget. It's just like you kind of make it work because you yeah. like, really want to do this. Yeah. And some people are like, I don't really want to work with them. So like, I'm just going to give you top dollar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel well, like. It's also like the Ram. So. Yeah. The, you know, it's a big organization. You yeah. Know, they're paying hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Yeah. And you also know there's going to be like millions of people that see that. Totally. So. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. But actually, I did that's a mural here at yeah. Concordia <laughs> Elementary School. <laughs> nice. Like oh, there you go. Passed through there. Yeah. But I did like a whole project. It was like two murals and their handball courts. Hell yeah. Uh, over, I mean, I don't know. How did, yeah, how do you, when you, what do you say it was 100 feet wide or something? That sounds yeah. like math. Yeah, it's art. Yeah, how do you look at that and you go, I should have done better in math because I don't know what how to do this or like, you the know. The nose is like, too small. Yeah, like how do you, I do like map a, it out? enough math to get away with it, but I'm not using the like Pythagorean theorem to. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, no, but my actual question is like, how do you look at it and, and map it out? Like, when it's when you scale, scale it out you're like yeah. holy scale. shit like i mean i get like the dimensions of the wall and like with that we actually had two projectors set up oh. and we like lined cool. up the art so it like nice. continuous and i had like markings on the projection itself so i knew like those are the corners of the wow. wall and we literally were like on a boom lift me and one of my friends on two boom lifts at like nine o'clock at night when it was like dark enough and we were just like tracing like this big mural and so i'll do that like with the project for the elementary school i mean whenever i can like I honestly will just use a projector because it just kind of like speeds it up a little bit. Yeah. But sometimes I'll freehand it if like the room doesn't allot me to like have that. But um, yeah, so I'll use like, I mean, I'll sometimes I'll like grid it out. Mm-hmm. So I guess kind of math quadrants. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But um, yeah, it's funny. All that's because I've only really been doing like that part of my work for the last like three or four years. Yeah. It was just someone being like, hey, can you do this? And I was like, I think I can do it. Yeah. I remember the first one that I ever did, it took me like, two days and if I, were, if I were to do the same one i'd be like i'll be done by lunchtime you know yeah i feel like it's just like when you get into it you like yeah. figure it out are yeah. any of your tattoos your own art no they're all friends really yeah you've never gotten one that's that's your own no i think it's like i don't know i'm always like i think i'm so like hyper selective with like oh what am my own thing yeah. and i just kind of like it's almost like you're collecting stuff art from other people yeah that's super and cool. even like when i go in now and like i get tattooed by my friends I'll just be like, what do you have? And they'll just show me like things that they're excited about. And I'll be like, let's just do that. Which is like a dangerous yeah. thing when you get to the point where you're like, I don't know, I'll just show up. Yeah. Like my wife will be like, oh, you're getting a tattoo today. Like, what are you going to get? I'm like, I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out when I get Damn. there. Damn. Which is like kind of like, yeah, I'm not saying to get tattoos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure you've seen a lot of your art like tattooed on other people though, right? Yeah. There's been a few, like I have, there's a tattoo shop like two doors down from my studio and like I walked in one time and my friend was like tattooing this guy and he's like, dude, look at this guy's leg. And there was like my art on his leg. Damn. And he was just like a UCSB student. He's like, dude, I love your art. I'm like, that is crazy. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah that's really yeah. Um, yeah. Which like I'm always trips me out, but I guess I mean, I mean, it makes sense with like my work is kind of bold. Yeah. Yeah. It like kind of translates well to that. Yeah, totally. Uh, so, but yeah, it always, that, Damn. that trips me out. Like, especially like more than like a t-shirt. Cause I'm like, you know, you're, you're stuck with that. Yeah. Right? yeah. But you know. So, well, there's wild. lasers nowadays, you know. Get removed. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it doesn't take like six laser therapies or something. Yeah. Oh, really? It's like more painful, painful than and... like getting. Oh, actual... really? Yeah. Yeah. I've, you got to keep going in. I made that. I think it's like multiple, though. Okay. Yeah. Like, it's definitely not like fun. Is, you got to keep special. going in. Like it. Oh, wow. I know yeah, nothing. You do about it really. and then you yeah. come it's back like and it's like, you just got to keep doing it till it's like totally gone. But apparently it's like super painful. Do you remember that show where they like re edit? tattoos to different things like people have bad like tattoos. Fix it? yeah they fix them up to different oh things. yeah yeah what was that show called i don't know re-inked or something yeah something like that because you know some people get some fucking gnarly tattoos yeah it's kind of like you know when people used to draw like a dick and then turn that into like a dog's face or something <laughs> it's kind of like that you did that that's all i used to do actually <laughs> that's his art background <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we're just blurring elliot out of this <laughs> yeah yeah, people care, guys. <laughs> care about this. Well, is there anything? Because uh, we usually wrap up around one hour and fifteen minutes, and I know we've done some things that don't necessarily <laughs> pertain to your conversation. So is there anything <laughs> no. that you want to talk? Part about? of the conversation. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, the cool. natural flow. It's building natural off flow. of it. But is there anything you want to like talk about? Anything that's coming up in your world, or that you want to like? Any shout outs? We love shout outs. Yeah. Sean. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Sean, Just our Sean. Spanish teacher. Oh. 
Spanish teacher. Lumpias. <laughs> Lumpias are good. bomb right now. I'm the representative for that Catch community. Um, yeah. No, I think, I mean, the only thing I guess like coming up wise is um, I'm having a solo exhibition at Indoic Gallery in Ventura in May. Sick. Sick. Uh, which will be mid-May. So that's like, I mean, aside from like the projects that I always have rolling out, that's like me on my own doing like a full, and that's like my first in a very long time like proper like nice. exhibition. Sick. So. When's that? Uh, that'll be like I don't know if the f- date for sure, but like middle of May. Okay, this year. sweet. Cool. So I'm like, are you gonna be selling work there and everything? Yeah, or? so I'm working. Sick. I'm literally working on a whole entire new Damn. batch of like. I mean, if you add it up, it might be like, from like wood panel paintings to like, like little food trays, swim fins, like scraps of cardboard. I'm like that I've done before. Like I did a, uh, my art show with Farm League was like all these little scraps of cardboard that I like float mount framed that was like super nice basically i'm doing like a i'm going back and looking at everything i've ever done and i'm just like doing it all again but like now like yeah, currently damn. that's dope so like i mean the art will probably be arranged like salon style like yeah, all yeah. crazy like i'm gonna painting on working on like a bunch of like dickies jackets that i'm painting on so it'll be just like usually like whenever i do any exhibition type thing i'm like i try to like the designer in me wants to make it uniform like oh it's all wood panel paintings are the same size or like I did a show with like all food trays and it was 72 orange food trays the farm league thing I did a long time ago was all little pieces of cardboard and like perfectly like 10 by 10 frames but this one I'm just like it's almost like all right everything I've done the last 10 years like let's bring it back and I'm gonna do it new so I'm like my studio is just like stuff everywhere nice so that's like my big aside from like all the other work that I'm doing um that's like me on my own just like all right i'm gonna do this yeah um so spanish teacher if you want to come out yeah <laughs> yeah she will i hope she it's just sean in the spanish that that <laughs> just them too is it you said it's in santa barbara in ventura ventura, ventura. Okay. yeah nice sick yeah, Where she go? Yeah, fun. yeah, yeah I'm go. down. Road trip. Is it like it's for a week three. or is it for like a day? Uh, like a proper like five weeks, I think. Five yeah. weeks, so. yeah. Okay. Um, so that'll be cool. Um, but that's like the big thing. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's awesome, that sounds dude. awesome. That's epic. Yeah. Yeah, we're down. Stoked for you and stoked to see like all these big collaborations and partnerships you've been doing, and it's been it's been really cool to see you grow. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. No, and same with you guys too. Like how it went from like just popping on the scene, like firing off a couple t-shirts like yeah. printed in like costa mesa to oh, like yeah carter we're in like too. an opera like a true it's a true operation yeah yeah no you know like so it's like cool to see honestly like similar trajectories of like totally not just like kids anymore yeah like yeah. oh we're like adults yeah still mentally 30. like yeah. Yeah. kids yeah, yeah, you know, like which i think is you want to maintain too. that of being like i want to have fun doing what i do but yeah. now it's like Oh yeah, I can like pay my bills oh, doing yeah. what I yeah. love, you know. And so Dreams do sure. come true. I think both ways, like you guys are doing like a great job being like you get to do it for a living. Yeah, you know? thanks, man. Yeah, Throw beers let's keep fun. it up. Let's keep oh, it yeah. up all together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, cheers, fuck cheers yeah. To that, no? cheers, 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 cheers. I didn't open cheers. this. That's oh, cheers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking cheers you still. Let's do it. All right, fine. <laughs> all right, fine. <laughs> there we go.